Hi all and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about our trip up to Scotland to watch Steve Clark's Tartan Army take on the mighty Cyprus. It was a long day. We set off at 5am and flew up to Glasgow from London Luton Airport. But surprise, surprise, there was a delay. And when you've not had enough sleep as it is, you just can't help but get pissed off about these things. Quick breakfast at Frankie and Benny's, accompanied by a few Coronas. Yes, at 6am. And uh, on to the plane we went. By the time the plane climbed up into the air, it was pretty much time to land again. And travelling is so much more convenient, isn't it, when there's no need to deal with passport control. As soon as we landed, we made our way to Hamden Park to pick up our tickets from the Cyprus FA's little ticketing station. And on our walk around the ground, bumped into Cyprus's all-time top goalscorer, Michalis Kostandinou. I can hear you all saying who, but in Cyprus, this guy was quite a big deal and went on to play for two of Greece's biggest clubs, Panathinaikos and Olympiagos, and I'm sure you've heard of them. After some much needed rest and a bloody good Nando's, it was time for the match. And as we made our way up to the ground, there was a pretty decent atmosphere starting to build. Scotland was as welcoming as any place I've ever been to, and we even made it into London's Greek newspaper. That kind of makes you famous here in North London. Hampden Park was just like I pictured, having watched Scotland play there loads on TV. A little dated, but extremely atmospheric. And there were Scotland fans who had travelled from all over to watch their team, even for a game versus minnows like Cyprus. The Scots came out to warm up and Andy Robertson, fresh off the back of his Champions League triumph, received a great reception for this was to be his first Scotland game as captain. A proud moment for the Liverpool man who as recently as 2013 was playing his football for Queen's Park. Cyprus, in true Cypriot fashion, were late to come out and warm up. The Scots were out for a good 10-15 minutes before there was any sign of one of our players. Probably having a cheeky fag at the back, but eventually they appeared. The teams came out for their respective national anthems and from a Cyprus perspective it was impossible to generate any sort of atmosphere seeing as there were only about 150 of us, if that, but I thoroughly enjoyed the Scottish anthem. There's something about bagpipes that gets me feeling all Braveheart. Hamden was far from full, but considering the opponent, 30,000 or so is a pretty solid turnout in my opinion, and they certainly made enough noise at the key moments of the game. Cyprus held their own in the first half, but the Scots' left-hand side was always going to be problematic. Robertson and Fraser constantly causing Cyprus problems, but to my surprise, the Cypriots held their own. As an Arsenal fan, I've never been particularly keen on Ryan Fraser. The reports of him joining our club continue to circulate, but is he good enough? Not in my book. Call me a footballing snob, call me whatever you want, but he didn't do anywhere near enough against Cyprus. I expect him to beat a fullback of that standard, but on the night, on this particular occasion, his end product wasn't anywhere near good enough. I'll tell you whose was though, Andrew Robertson's. His excellent shot beat Pardo in the Cyprus goal and gave the Scots the lead on 61 minutes. 
Difficult to swallow as a Cyprus fan, given how well we'd coped up to that point. But quality is quality. And uh, the one top-level player on the field was the only difference between the sides at that point. Cyprus had threatened to create a goal-scoring opportunity, but eventually, on 87 minutes, we had our moment. I'll let you enjoy the video I captured as the goal went in. Yeah, that's me screaming yes at the top of my voice, but I had to stop recording as I ran down to the front and the players bundled into the crowd because, let's face it, if I didn't, I'd have smashed my new phone to complete pieces. Um, Scotland somewhat fortuitously grabbed an 89th minute winner through Oliver Burke, handing Clark's side their first victory under his leadership. My heart sunk. I was gutted, but as a Cyprus fan, I took comfort from the fact the Scots celebration was one more of relief than jubilation. That tells you all you need to know about how this game went. The Cypriots did our small island proud, and we were desperately unlucky to lose. And despite what some people might tell you, Cypriot football is slowly progressing. It was a great trip with great friends and I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. Um, not a professional video, not doing it for any work purposes, just a bit of fun uh, for my own YouTube channel. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, share it, etc, etc. If you are watching this via the Chronicles of Aguna's YouTube channel, hit the link in the description and head over to mine and give that a subscribe to where I'll be bringing you all sorts of content uh, covering the biggest stories in European football. Thanks again for watching and uh, I'll be back very soon. Take care. Come on, Cyprus.